When you think about bibimbap, it sounds so nice to make, right? But when you're at home and you have to like prep each one of those separate ingredients, no, no, no. Bibimbap in Korean actually just means mixed rice. You can make it with one ingredient. Today we're gonna work with mushroom. Now I saw this recipe off of a Korean YouTube channel called Mrs. Macarons and it was delicious. So I think this meal is perfect when, for example, during the week you've had too much meat or you've had too much fast food and you need something light that's nutritious but still filling, this is perfect for it. Here is mushroom bibimbap. For the mushroom, I want you to pick out from two to four different varieties. I'm using oyster mushroom. Then I have this pegman songi. I'll put this English translation here and then our common mushroom. Use whatever mushrooms are local to your area. In total, we want around 300 grams or you can think of like two large fistfuls. It's gonna feel like a lot when we put on the rice, but when you cook it through, these wilt down and it becomes nothing, okay? It's like spinach. The button mushrooms, treat them like we're putting them on pizza. We want them thin. Same with our cluster of oyster mushrooms. So you can break apart any of the pieces. And that's it for ingredients, nothing else to prepare. These mushrooms will provide all of the flavor for our rice. Neighbors, today we're gonna cook rice fresh out of a pot. Of course, you can use rice from your rice cooker. It's a good amount. For the new cooks that are joining us, this is short grain rice. This is the one used when you're eating sushi, but this is the preferred one in Korean cooking. And then equal parts water. I use one and a half cups of rice, so one and a half cups of water. Flame on high, and let's bring this pot up to a boil. Let's get a lid on, no problem. And from here, I'll move on. If you need extra help with this, go to futuredish.com and search perfect Korean sticky rice. Good steps there. Now let's make our bibimbap topping sauce. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. Now let's start off with a few peppers. This one is honggochu which is not spicy at all. It's just used for color. And then the Cheongyang chili pepper. This one provides most of the heat. You can substitute these two for one jalapeno pepper. And this two you can skip or just use one mild chili pepper. Cut them down halfway. Get another cross section going. And then we'll just cut them. And then today we're gonna use some green onions, right? We're not using spring onions, those thicker ones. Two stalks and, all right, nice. Let's get our green onions in, followed by our peppers, followed by two cloves of garlic. Let's give it a little squash. Get them fairly small, special delivery. Then we're gonna do two tablespoons of soy sauce. That's one, two. Then we're gonna use some anchovy fish sauce, or if you have chamchiak, which is tuna fish sauce, this one's even better. Use either one. We're gonna put in one tablespoon of the fish sauce, one tablespoon of water, two tablespoons of sesame seeds. I'm gonna use one, which is the regular kind, and then one tablespoon of black, you don't have black, of course, just use two tablespoons of the regular. No need to get fancy. And then one tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. That's good. Then four or five cracks of black pepper. And then one tablespoon of Korean dried blood, aka gochugaru. Nice. One tablespoon in. And just look at this sauce, folks. This can't help but taste good. Look at all the flavor that's going to come together. Now, as home cooks, we want to taste as we go. Delicious. Let's set this aside for now so that the flavors can come together even more. And then let's go check in on our rice. And then if we take a look, beautifully done. Do you hear that slight crackling? I left it to steam just a little bit. And the sound should be like stepping on fresh snow. Oh, 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 oh. When we only have two ingredients for our bibimbap, you gotta make sure that rice is on point. Now friends, we're gonna take out a frying pan. Mine is just about bigger than my outstretched hand. Let's put this on a medium heat. And the plan is to steam our fresh mushrooms on top of our fresh rice. You'll see. I want you to put in two tablespoons of sesame oil. You know when you have tulsud bibimbap, the one that's offered in the hot stone? They put a layer of sesame on the rock as well. So you get that sizzle, sizzle, crack, crack, pop, pop. Let's put some rice down. Let's add in all of the fresh cooked rice. I think it's gonna come to around three cups of cooked rice. And then we're gonna put our mushrooms on top. All of our mushrooms on top. Wow, mushroom overload. And then let's put a lid, hopefully it fits. Come on, come on, ooh, okay. I think that's good. Let's just not touch it. <laughs> and then let's give it 10 minutes. All right, and after around five minutes, we're gonna give a little toss up. We're gonna get our mushroom mixed in with the rice. Woo! The smell is just wonderful. And you know the rice gets very hot, so these mushrooms are gonna steam within the rice. Let it cook a little bit more. Oh, Beautiful. This is a mushroom rice. Yeah, mushroom bibimbap. Ooh, sounds really good. I'm so hungry already. All right, close the lid and give it another five minutes. All right, that's the sound I wanted to hear. The pan did a lot of work. Good job. 
It's sweating. Wow, 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 wow. All right, guys, wow, take a look at this beauty. All the mushrooms have steamed. And now it's time to add that Christmas flavor. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. Just a few spoonfuls, depending on how spicy you like it. All right, and then let's peep and pop. Bring all of this together. We definitely need some more Christmas spirit. Wow. Actually, I've been a good boy this year. Let's bring all the Christmas. Matter of fact, come on. <laughs> and that, my friends, is your mushroom pop. It's ready to go. This could feed two or three people. Let me get a scoop. Oh my gosh, look at all the mushrooms in there. We got the sauce well mixed in. This is beauty. Oh my gosh. The mushrooms, they're so tasty. And the best thing about this is the mushrooms, they taste like meat. They've been steamed, so they still have a lot of their natural juices inside. You bite in and that like, um, and that liquid comes out. Nice. Wow, just one more bite. Any pivot pop worth its weight. We need a fried egg. Let's scooch this over to a, a bowl. Normally I would eat out of the frying pan, but this is more than one person serving. There it is. And to this, my friends, all we have to do now is just dig in. Ha 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 ha. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Mix it in. Bon appetit, guys. This is ridiculously good. You don't need any panchan, nothing at all. Just a nice fried egg with a beautiful mushroom bibimbap. You know, it's very hard to go vegan or vegetarian in Korea, virtually impossible. But uh, if we have dishes like this that were readily accessible, I think I could ponder going maybe for a week, maybe trying vegetarian for a week. Ah, but then I wouldn't be able to have the fried egg. I don't know, I don't know. Choices, choices, choices. Mm.